Hi, my name is Lodas Butkus, and in this video I want to talk about the Google Authenticator app and more broadly about two-factor authentication. What is two-factor authentication? Well, if you try to log into a website and they send you a email with a confirmation link, that's two-factor authentication. If you try to log in and they send you an SMS message, that's again two-factor authentication. Also, it can be done through an app like Google Authenticator that generates different codes every 30 seconds or so. Why you should use two-factor authentication? Well, in this day and age, just having a strong, secure password is not enough. Well, usually people have very simple and convenient passwords, so that's even worse. But in general, just having a good password is not enough because if you are reusing passwords, which most of us are, I'm guessing, uh, then uh, basically if one of the websites where you log in uh, gets compromised, then your password is basically leaked and it can be reused on other accounts and they are compromised as well. So two-factor authentication makes it much harder to hack your account because there are because just having your password is not enough, they also need to compromise your mobile device or your tablet uh, where the codes are being generated. So, how does Google Authenticator work? So, when you try to uh, enable on your account the two-factor authentication, this is actually becoming the standard for cryptocurrency exchanges, and in my opinion, it should be used for every single account that you value for your Gmail account or some other accounts as well. And how it works is they give you a secret code uh, that you have to back up. If you lose your phone or you decide to reset the settings on your phone and it wipes out the memory, then you lost your code. To back it up, you need your secret key that you get when you're trying to enable it. You need to have that code to recover the passwords. If you lose it, then you have lost the access to your account. Make sure to print it on paper, have multiple copies, etc. etc. So how the algorithm works? The algorithm takes in the secret key over here, which can be whatever random sequence uh, that, is gener that is generated and it also takes the current time and it spits out six random numbers that you need to enter in order to log in. So a problem might arise if your phone time is out of sync. If you're having problems to lo with logging in, make sure your, uh, your time is in sync and then it should solve the problems. So yeah, this is how it works. Make sure to keep backups and use two-factor authentication on all the accounts that matter to you. So this is it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.